In this lesson, you will learn how to plot a point on a coordinate plane. As a quick recap, a coordinate plane is made up of a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. The point where these axes intersect is called the origin, which is the center of the coordinate plane. On the x-axis, the region to the right of the origin is positive and to the left of the origin is negative. On the y-axis, the region above the origin is positive and below the origin is negative. For any point on a coordinate plane, the first number is the x-coordinate and the second number is the y-coordinate. To plot a point, start at the origin and move horizontally right or left to the x-coordinate. Then from there, move vertically up or down to the y-coordinate. Finally, mark the point where you end up. The key concept to remember is that if the x-coordinate is positive, move right, if negative, move left. Similarly, if the y-coordinate is positive, move up, if negative, move down. Let's see how this works with our examples. For point A, the x-coordinate is positive 4. So, we start at the origin and move to the right 4 units. The y-coordinate is positive 3. So, from where we left off, we move up 3 units. Finally, we mark the point where we end up. This is the point 4, 3. Let's plot point B. The x-coordinate is negative 4. So, we start at the origin and move to the left, 4 units. The y-coordinate is negative 3. So, we move down 3 units. Finally, we mark the point where we end up. This is the point negative 4, negative 3. Now, please pause the video and try to plot point C. The x-coordinate is negative 2. So, start at the origin and move to the left 2 units. The y-coordinate is positive 1. So, move up 1 unit. Finally, mark the point where you end up. This is the point negative 2, comma 1. Try to plot point D as well. The x-coordinate is positive 5. So, start at the origin and move to the right 5 units. The y-coordinate is negative 5. So, move down 5 units. Finally, mark the point where you end up. This is the point 5, comma, negative 5. Next, let's plot point E. The x-coordinate is positive 2. So, start at the origin and move to the right 2 units. The y-coordinate is 0. So, you do not need to move up or down. Stay on the x-axis and mark the point where you left off. This is the point 2, comma, 0. Please feel free to pause the video and plot point F. The x-coordinate is 0. So, you do not need to move left or right from the origin. The y-coordinate is positive 2. So, start at the origin and move up 2 units. Then, mark the point where you end up. This is the point 0, comma, 2. In general, if the y-coordinate is 0, the point lies on the x-axis. If the x-coordinate is 0, the point lies on the y-axis. If both the x- and y-coordinates are 0, just as in point G, the point lies at the origin. By the way, there is also another way to plot points that you might find useful. Let's plot the point 3, 4 as an example. First, locate the x-coordinate on the x-axis and sketch a vertical line that passes through it. Then, locate the y-coordinate on the y-axis and sketch a horizontal line that passes through it. The intersection of these two lines is the point 3, 4. Note that the vertical and horizontal lines drawn are just to help us find the point. They are not part of the final graph. If you find this method easier, feel free to replot the other points to practice. Now that you understand how to plot a point, Next, we will move on to how to find the coordinates of a point. You can find the link in the description below. See you there.